I'm here at 18 Degrees Restaurant with Chef Michelle, who's going to show me a very healthy venison dish with a lot of superfoods. Hi Michelle, welcome Hi. to the show. <laughs> <laughs> what exactly are we cooking? So today we're cooking red venison with um, blueberry and from granite quinoa. Sounds it is so super, good. super healthy, yeah. believe me. <laughs> the term venison is used to uh, describe the meat of a deer. Mm -hmm. Uh, it is similar to beef in taste, but it tends to be a little bit more gamey. But yeah. venison is much leaner than beef, so it yeah. is actually much healthier to mm -hmm. eat and it's very low in calories. I was going to say, it looks very lean, like you can't even see any yeah, fat Yeah, there's no, no fat on it whatsoever. Mm -hmm. And 100 gram of venison has around 200 calories, so mm -hmm. it is really, really good. Yeah. So what we do is we, we season it, salt and pepper. What is typically the season for game? Um, actually, when you go into Europe, it would be autumn. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. But I guess in Dubai you can get it all year round. Yes. <laughs> Luckily. Ours is coming from New Zealand. Yeah. And is there something you need to look out for when you go to the supermarket? Okay, so what I would do is, as I said, I would make sure it is as young as possible, not yeah. as old, because then it tends to be quite gamey and I don't like if it is too gamey, you know? Yeah. And then we're eating this, or preparing, <laughs> we're eating it later actually, that's admitted. But we're preparing this with some quinoa. Quinoa is one of my favorite foods at the moment. Mm -hmm. It is super filling. Yeah. Um, it gives you lots of energy and yeah. again it's very low on, um, on calories and quinoa is much better than pasta and rice. Mm -hmm. It fills you up in the same way. It's <laughs> gluten free as well, and it's which is free. really exactly. good for people who have an intolerance. And it's just so light and fluffy. What I notice is like, I can eat this with anything. It goes with anything. So <laughs> quinoa you can use it really for everything and anything. Okay, let's start with the easy, right? Mm -hmm. The blueberry. Okay, oh, okay. want to go Thank ahead you. with that one? And this is a superfood and an antioxidant, isn't it? Blueberries are really good for your brain as well. So how many, do um, so you put a handful or how many blueberries do um, yeah, you? that's fine, that's yeah? absolutely fine. Okay. And then we want to have the same amount of pomegranates. Okay. Pomegranate is also a superfood. Yes, but you know the tricky part about pomegranates is really the, the peeling part. Yes. I mean, we make this look easy, but it's really actually not always. <laughs> this it is on very, very messy, yeah? Yeah. Just, yeah. And tomato, we're just putting a little bit of tomatoes inside as well. I just cut mm -hmm. them in small pieces. And then we put some cucumber in. Cucumber is always good for you and it gives a good crunch. Yeah. And when you bite it, it pops a little bit, so it goes yeah. very well with these things. Actually, Asian cuisine is one of my favorites because I believe as well, it is super healthy and yeah. um, you don't put on weight, so yeah. this is actually fine. Oh yeah, that's yeah, enough? That's, that's okay. um, totally enough. And so how long ago did you move to Abu Dhabi? Uh, over four years ago. From Germany? Or? No. Um, so I left Germany over 15 years ago. I started mm -hmm. actually in Switzerland. <gasps> okay. I started really? my career in Switzerland. Yeah, they're very well known actually for, you know, gastronomy and hotel. Very well, yes. Yeah. And um, I used that time to learn more about pastry and mm -hmm. chocolate and pralines and ice cream. So <laughs> Perfect I, place to learn <laughs> exactly. that. Exactly. <laughs> so that's what I saw as well. And from there I started um, traveling. Mm -hmm. I um, went to Italy, I worked in Ireland, I worked in Qatar yeah. before and um, went back to Switzerland again because I like it so much. Mm -hmm. And I think the exciting part is you go to the, um, to the shop, Yeah. you see what is there, what is actually in season mm -hmm. and then you cook it, right? Yeah. And I think it makes you more hungry and it makes you more appreciate the food because sure. if you buy food which is not in season, I think it's just a total waste, right? So It also tastes very bland, you know? It's a lot of it. Yeah, exactly. Because flavor can't come, right? I mean, mm -hmm. when I go back to Germany in the summer and I have a strawberry, oh my God, I could die. Oh, you know, it's so it sweet. so good. My mom will pick it from the garden and I'm just ready to die. <laughs> I okay. mean, my, my secret sin is strawberries with whipped cream. It's just <laughs> very too good. good. Very rarely, you know, like once a year or something like we that. We do that as well, actually, we eat strawberries with cream. So what we do is now we add some mm -hmm. parsley and some mint. Okay. It nice. goes very well with it. And you can see already, it is super colorful, right? I know, that's what they say, the more colorful, the more healthy it is. I'll put it in? Yes, please. 
What we want to do is we want to mm -hmm. add some um, oil and lemon juice. Maybe okay. we can put it in the bowl first to yeah. make it a little bit of a dressing. It looks really delicious. And the most important thing for me for quinoa is that it's light and fluffy. I don't like it when it gets soggy and it can happen quite quickly. Okay, yeah, then you overcook it. Yeah. So we use a black slate mm -hmm. so the color comes out properly. All so right. we just take um, the quinoa, make sure it's mixed properly and mm -hmm. seasoned well. And then we will just place it in the middle of the plate. And you know what the good thing is, um, the entire dish we're cooking mm -hmm. probably has like, I don't know, 500, 550 calories. Wow. So it's, um, it's and actually, it's filling. And it's filling. I prepared some sauce beforehand. Yeah. Some uh, berry jus. Okay. Just to combine the entire dish. What and kind of berries did you use? Raspberry. Ah, and some right. raspberry vinegar to get a little bit mm -hmm. of pungent taste. Okay. And here we have the venison. Mm. Um, Looks any meat delicious. you cook, it's good if you let it rest. So um, if you cook the meat, say, 10 minutes, mm -hmm. give it a 10 minutes resting time, so okay. all the juice can go back inside the meat. All right. So you don't lose um, the taste and the flavor. Otherwise, if you cut it, it will all Exactly, come out. it will yeah. just come all out. So we put the radish just like this. Yeah. So maybe you want to do yes, that? Yes, of course. And then you can pick one of these beautiful herbs. The micro herbs. The micro herbs, exactly. Just to so put pretty. again a little bit more color in and some crunch. Okay. So do you need to cut it off or no, you just, you just pick, pick it? it? You just pick it. So okay. whatever you want. So you just put it. Does it does it add taste as well or is it just a little bit? Cute? But it is more for the looks, right? Okay. Oh, beautiful. That's perfectly cooked. Yeah. So you only cooked this uh, for 10 minutes? No, uh, actually less. I cooked it, um, so after I sealed it, yeah. um, four to six minutes in the oven and that's it. Where do you recommend that you can buy this here in Dubai? And um, in Abu Dhabi we have one shop mm -hmm. where they um, sell it. I'm sure you have it in Dubai as mm -hmm. well, but uh, I don't think you can buy it in normal supermarkets. I don't okay. that. Yeah, because I haven't actually seen venison in Dubai. No, in, and in I think it is um, still quite new to this part of the world. So, yeah. um, but people like it, though. Maybe it's considered I, a bit experimental. <laughs> <laughs> I think it is. Yeah. So we just arranged it a little bit on the quinoa. Just a little bit more. Okay. And then we have um, the sauce. Yeah. <clears throat> just to drizzle a little bit over because we don't want to cover the beautiful um, look of the meat. Yeah, and you don't want to overpower. Exactly. Right? Et voilà. Look, that's it. Oh, I grilled venison with blueberry and pomegranate. Um, you know. Bon appetit. You wouldn't believe that this is healthy because it looks so <laughs> delicious. <laughs> All right, let's bon try. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'll try a little bit of this venison with this with the delicious raspberry sauce. Yes, and try to get some quinoa on that as well. Yes. Quinoa with, oh my gosh, the parsley, blueberry. You know that parsley has more vitamin C than uh, lemons? Mm-mm. Mm. Yeah, parsley is um, massive on vitamin C. Mm. Wow. Well, really, good. really I'm glad really you good. like it. It is so refreshing. <laughs> you know what I love? The, the quinoa with the vegetables and fruits is so refreshing and juicy. And then the meat, it's a nice contrast because the texture is a little bit more firm, mm -hmm. but still so tender. It's very, very tender, right? Yes. You have to try as well. <laughs> we'll finish this <laughs> later. We'll finish it after. <laughs> this is amazing. Thank you Good. so much. I'm really glad you like Chef it. Thank Michelle. you so much for coming. Yes, thank you for showing us how to prepare this dish. I'm definitely going to try it out at home. Let me know how you get on. Okay. <laughs>